Hello everyone, how are you? I'm back again with a speed paint of Tam Dai Song from Keeper of the Lost Cities. This is a piece I did for Ariana Tries to Do Arts Draw This in Your Style Challenge on Instagram, where their cool original piece features our beloved Shade Boy sitting on a rooftop during the night. Link to their art will be posted in the descriptions, especially if you'd like to join their DTIYS. Tam's outfit is referenced from an old fan art I did of him back in 2018, which you may have seen reposted in some Keeper Wikis or Pinterest. I don't really mind my art being reposted as long as I'm credited properly, but if anyone wants to repost any art or fan art, please, please do ask for the original artist's permission first as not all artists are okay with their art getting reposted. Also, are there any fellow artists or writers who get embarrassed when your old art or writing still get circulated around the internet? I die a little every time I see my old art pop up on someone's feed or edits because oh my gosh, it looks horrible. Oh well, my current art will probably look horrible too to future me. Anyway, sorry for the short rant, uh, back to Tam's song. He's actually the reason I started reading Keeper of the Lost Cities. I was gushing about Lord Star's beautiful cover in a previous video because that's the first book I stumbled upon from the series. And the first thing I noticed from the cover is Tam's glorious hair. Like wow, this guy has really cool hair. I wonder what's this book about? And oh wow, there's also this badass looking girl who is Sophie. And what is she doing to the person in a black cloak who is so obviously the antagonist? Then I checked the book summary and loved it. Realizing there's four books prior to it, bought all five books and never looked back. No joke, Tam, more specifically his silver deep hair, is the reason I got into this rabbit hole. So imagine my dis disappointment when I realized Pretty Hair Boy does not appear in the books until never seen. But it got better because he has an awesome and powerful twin sister. Yay, Lin! Okay, no, I'm not weird being weirdly obsessed about hair. It's just that when I draw characters, the hair is one of my favorite parts to paint, unless the character is bald. So I appreciate good hair art when I see one. Other keeper characters on the cover arts with cool hair that I really like are Biana and of course Keith. I mean, he's called Lord Hunky Hair. I hope we'll get to see more characters on the cover art like Stina, Maruka, and Marella because I'd like to see Jason Chan's take on them, although they look great in the official arts too. Let me know in the comments how you got into the series and who do you think has the coolest hair in the Lost Cities. I hope you enjoy the rest of the speed paint. The background music I'm using is Dreamy Night by Lily Pichu, who is my favorite Twitch streamer, and this is the piano cover version by the talented Piano Bento. Thanks for watching and bye!